All right guys, so today we're gonna to be installing our Viar Air Source Relocation Kit on our Klein Airhorn Air Tank on the truck. And that way we can actually tap into the air supply for refilling tires and uh, stuff on the trailer and on the truck. I wanna put it back by the rear receiver um, because the hose that I have is 35 feet, and, or 30 feet I mean, and I might have to get a 35, but I need it as close to the rear of the truck so I can get to the back of my boat trailer um, with the air gauge. So. Uh, it comes with the things here on the box. It was only like 30 bucks or something on Amazon. And uh, it's got pretty good reviews. So we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and unbox it and then um, start getting ready to get it installed. All right, so looking in the box here, it comes with a uh, parts list and a diagram. And this is sort of like an instruction manual, but without words. I guess it does tell you about it on the side, but it gives you a diagram to show you exactly how this thing uh, hooks up. To your air tank and then in the box of course you've got all the fittings the female connector the male connector um, the brass intermediaries the hose clamps and five inch continuous uh, clamp as well as 15 feet of air hose so this should be enough to get me from where my tank is back to where i'm putting the air truck let's get it installed all right guys so the next step here now i've identified where i want to put the uh, air truck is I measured like a three inch piece of L angle aluminum. I'm going to cut it with the saw here and then drill a hole in it so that I can mount the air truck and it'll go right here and then it'll face straight down right underneath the bumper hanging off the bracket. So now I've got my little piece of L angle. It's an eighth inch thick and it's uh, like one and a half by one and a half. And the, here's the actual air fitting. So the way this is gonna work is this is gonna mount vertically. And then of course this will come through and I will drill a hole, but I need to figure out where the bolts are gonna go. In which case I'm gonna use a quarter inch drill bit for my quarter uh, by one inch uh, stainless bolts that I picked up at Lowe's. And so I'm gonna go down there and mark where these holes will be. I will drill those and then I will drill the larger hole for this fitting. All right, so I marked the two holes where it's gonna go through the bracket on the bumper and the one hole where the actual uh, valve thing is gonna go through. And so what I'm gonna do is try and, uh, let's see, lock this thing in like this, maybe like that. And then go ahead and drill one hole, flip it over and drill another one. All right, so I got the holes drilled in this um, little bracket here. And this is how it's gonna look on the truck. So the airline will come in from the top right behind the receiver. And then this is a half inch hole that I drilled. So I drilled two quarter inch holes for mounting the bracket. And then I've got a half inch hole for um, the little air chuck fitting. And this is gonna be right underneath the bumper. So I can just plug it straight up in there and airline will go straight over the top. So I'm gonna get this mounted and then we'll start running line. Okay, here's a pro tip. Make sure you mount the bracket to the truck before you put the air fitting in because otherwise you won't be able to get the bolt through the bracket into the bumper because the air fitting is in the way. All right, so to get this bracket on, I've got to actually remove the spare tire and the spare tire heat shield because I don't have a right angle drill bit or a small pneumatic drill. So I'm gonna to have to remove the heat shield because of course it comes out exactly where I need to put the drill so I could drill this way into the bracket. I believe there's two bolts. I think they're 15 mils that are holding it up. You're gonna need a long extension with a wobble bit to get to them. Okay, correction, the two bolts are 13 mils and you're gonna need a long extension with a wobble bit. But now, see I have free and clear access to the back of the bracket uh, mounting area. Now you can clearly see where it's gonna go. It's gonna go like right there basically and the air fitting will go straight up and the airline will go over. Let's get it drilled out. All right guys, so I got the bracket mounted here and it is a, uh, I'm using a quarter 20 stainless bolt, one inch with uh, washers and the heads on both the lock nut and the uh, bolt itself are 7 16 And so it's nice and tight now and I can go ahead and mount the air fitting. All right, so here's the tank that we're tapping into, and there's a water drain valve here. There's a pressure sensor there, and then this is where they put the regular fitting. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and remove, um, 
drain the water in the air and then pull this thing out and insert my line and then route it back. All right, so I got that fitting out using a um, crescent wrench. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, install this uh, end of the hose line deal, the compression fitting into this uh, end of the tank, and then I'll start routing it back. All right, so it's best to take the line off first and then use a 9 16 uh, wrench to go ahead and tighten this fitting into the tank. After you get it nice and tight in there, you can go ahead and reinstall the compression fitting and then start routing your line. All right, so once you put the line on there, you wanna make sure that it goes all the way over the barb on that fitting and all the way flush with the threads as you can see and then you can go ahead and uh, tighten up the actual collar. But if you're gonna cut, you need to make sure that it's a flush cut and that it's uh, flush just like you see there. And then you'll go ahead and take this piece, screw that on, tighten that up. And I think that's a 12 millimeter wrench that you're gonna use. Just tighten it till you can't tighten it anymore. That's it. All right, so I just finished routing the line. I wanna show you how I did it. There's the air tank. I took the line right over the top, did a 180, followed it down the tube here, and then took it up here by the air compressor for the air horns, and then up over and between the bed and the bed support, and then all the way along the frame just inside of the wheel well liner and the same thing all the way down through the bed support. And then continue through the bed support over the frame and then just down over the top of the receiver to where the air fitting will be. All right guys, that's it. The install is complete. As you can see, the fitting is through the aluminum bracket and it is good to go and it is not visible from the outside unless you put your head down below because it is literally pretty much perfectly flush with the bottom of the bumper. So nice solid little piece here. Very simple. Again, I got the L um, aluminum angle from Lowe's and I got the Viera kit from Amazon, 15 foot hose. I ended up cutting about a foot off the end. And so I'm going to fire it up and test it as soon as I put the spare tire back, but as long as there's no leaks, I think this is a great little investment. It should be great for filling up tires and, you know, air toys and things like that at the lake. All right, guys, so here is the moment of truth. We're going to start the truck, make sure the tank fills up, and our air truck works. So you can hear the compressor just came on. Right there. See the PSI coming up, it was all the way down to zero. seems to be holding steady. I don't think we have any leaks, but let's go check. All right, guys, so the uh, airline via air thing fit in perfectly. Let's go see how it works. All right, so here we are at the front, and I believe this is 60 PSI. Let me hook it up and we'll turn it back on. All right, currently there's 59.9 PSI. Let's see how it pumps. So it's getting about 106, 105 PSI from the tank. 64. Okay, the compressor just kicked on. 
66. Max on this is 80. That's 68 already. Sixty-nine. Seventy. Okay. Well, we keep the fronts at sixty. So you just push the little button in, release it. We'll take it back down to sixty. But proof of concept, we know it works. Guys, one more thing I forgot to mention is that you want to take the dust cover off of the old uh, Klein tank fitting and put it on your new uh, fitting here on the back from Viair because you don't want to get dust and dirt and stuff up in there. And uh, that's that little rubber cap you see. Anyway, that's the end of the video. It works great. Um, I think it turned out perfect. Good luck with your project. Thanks for watching, guys.